What's going on guys? Today we will talk about number one mistake, your AI automation agency will fail. Not testing with real clients while building. Do not spend three months building your product. Build a minimum viable product and talk to your clients, get feedback, iterate and improve. Build multiple products in the beginning to test which ones uh, your client wants and which ones they don't want. Do not just build one product for three months, you didn't even test it and then just to find out that nobody wants it. Don't worry that people will never uh, talk to you again if, you, if your product isn't perfect the first time you show them. They are the people that you are talking to are early adopters. They have a burning problem they need to solve and they expect that your, uh, that your product has flaws. Usually people who are talking to you, they have a problem and they are willing to tolerate bugs and other problems with your product. The reason they are talking to you is not that they think your product is great, but they have a problem that it might fix. I also want to give massive credit to Y Combinator and their video, and their video how to build uh, an MVP, where they actually decide how to, how to build an MVP, which is was inspiration for this video. If I show uh, the product to a client and they don't they don't like it, my business dies. This is what a lot of people think, but it's completely not true. And there is a saying in startup world, don't worry, be crappy. Now there is another type of people that say, I know what the perfect product is and I need six months to build it. Why would I build and release bad versions of it? So these people are called by Michael from Y Combinator, Y Combinator fake Steve Jobs. iPhone was built on rapid testing and iteration, not in one try. Steve Jobs did not imagine iPhone and then built it. He made a very bad version of it early in the beginning and then tested and iterated and made it better and better. The first version of Airbnb had no payment, so you literally couldn't pay the, on the first version of Airbnb. Stripe, uh, so Stripe is an online paying payment platform, but you literally, it couldn't open a bank account. So you, you would sign up and founders would manually open a bank account for you. So the founders of Stripe didn't spend three to six months like automating all of the process of opening bank accounts from their website. And then just to find out that nobody wants it, they literally built a website for Stripe in like one day that you can just sign up and then they would manually create bank accounts. So that's how they were testing if their idea even is like good at all. And for the end, real men test in production. This is a meme from JavaScript, but it applies here as well. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Also, also join my Discord uh, link in the link down below. Thank you for watching.